I'm very excited, YouTube. I got a Precision Matthews milling machine. This is something that's been on my list for probably well over 20 years. I don't know exactly when. So let's get to unloading this thing and getting it set up. I thought I could scooch this off of there. This is about 250 pounds, I think, according to the invoice. Although I think my accessories might be in here, the extra stuff I ordered. So I thought well, I could slide these down the ramps real quick, get them out of the way, and then figure out what the heck I'm gonna do with that big thing. I'm assuming that's at least 850 pounds, maybe 900, I don't know. I'm not gonna scoot that down the ramps. I gotta come up with a little better plan than that. Let's see what's in here first. And yep, my accessories are down in there. Assume those are the leveling feet. Yep. Okay. And this should be the call it kit. under the stand. This feels like a good way to get your fingers pinched. Oh, roll out. Oh, can't do both. There we go. Something like that. Okay, this is my plan after thinking this through. I'm gonna have to lift the mill to get it set up on this stand anyway, right? So, I think what I'm gonna do is set up my chain hoist here in this hole. I cut this hole in the roof to get up to the electrical wiring so I can change it around up there. It's actually a lot easier than it looks. back the trailer up that way I can lift that thing up off the trailer set it down take it out of the crate It's only a little bit after four, 
but I'm fighting a cold or something. I'm not sure what this is, but I feel miserable. So I'm going to go ahead and stop here for the day. And in the morning, I'll start cleaning this thing, putting the DRO on, put the power feed on, put the head elevation motor on. And did I mention cleaning this thing? Holy cow, this thing needs cleaning. Uh, some of that's protective coating, but some of that is just grime. It is just nasty. So anyway, we'll start in on this in the morning when I'm rested. I've been debating and debating about how to move this thing over to where I want it because I think I'd like to set it oh basically where the radio is hanging on the wall there not quite in front of the window now then gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with my toolbox I was originally gonna put my big drill press you know the thing over here been not rebuilding <laughs> um, I was actually gonna set that drill press right there where my toolbox is but since I have the mill now, I want the mill over there. And what I'm thinking is just slide it on this sheet of plywood, I think. So I think I'm gonna lift it back up, get the leveling pads put under it. That way it'll grip to this plywood. Yeah, that'll just clear that way. I thought I could put these down in that way, but I can or not. I'll lift it up a little bit here. Son of a gun. What I've done here is I've attached the sling to the bolt for this foot over here and gone around the machine this way. So hopefully when I pull it, it'll turn it straight like that. Then it's just a matter of transferring two of the feet onto something that I can remove. I actually want the mill to come a little bit back this direction anyway. A little too far with it. Um, so transfer it onto those two plates and I can take the plywood out and take the two plates out. And 
definitely not even close to level. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing, a little farther around like that with the bar and shims and whatnot, get this thing level. But I think that's where it's going to live. We'll see. Um, this is the south wall of my garage. I like to have, you know, my machines up against the south wall because that side of the garage is usually warmer. So I don't know what I'll say at this moment other than I think I'm going to take a break because that wore me out. And... I'll probably just bring it back when I have the electrical going and this thing's up and running. I ordered some adapters off of eBay here. There's chunks of stuff in there. This is a R8 to Morris Taper 3 adapter. So I can use my drill bits. That's 90 RPM, 670 RPM. And this should be 1,970 RPM. So it definitely sounds like it. And this is a three axis DRO. It's got a scale here on the entire head of this machine as well as X and Y on the table and there's also a little one of those uh, small DRO add-on things you know technically not an add-on because it came with the middle but for the quill there a little DRO not part of this system so pretty neat technically I have like four axis DRO pretty nice I was actually going to face the top of this plate and drill two inch and an eighth diameter holes through it because I need another plate for my little portable press I thought that'd be a good project to start out with on this mill, get to know things. But I think I'll just do that at a later time. So I'm quitting here for the day. Uh, hope you enjoyed this little overview of setting this thing up. I have no idea what I forgot to mention in the video. <laughs> anyway, this thing's pretty awesome. I just can't wait to make chips fly.